Hey guys, in this video I'd like to talk about redox reactions. So redox is short for reduction oxidation. And redox reactions involve the transfer of electrons from one species to another. So when you lose electrons, that's called oxidation. So you can remember this with oil. So oxidation is losing electrons. And reduction is when you gain electrons. And you can remember that with rig. And you can kind of pair these up and think oil rig. Oxidation is losing. Reduction is gaining electrons. So you can imagine electrons have negative charges. So if you were, be, were to become oxidized and you lost a negative charge, your charge would become more positive. And uh, conversely, reduction is gaining electrons or negative charge. So you would imagine if you became reduced, your charge would become more negative. So let's look at an example of a redox reaction down here. So I've got copper one plus plus iron with a three plus charge goes to copper two plus plus iron two plus. So let's pay attention to what happened to the charges of each species. So copper started out with a plus one charge and then ended up with a plus two charge. So the only way that could have happened is if copper lost an electron, right? Because when you lose an electron, which is negatively charged, your charge goes up or becomes more positive by one. So that means copper was oxidized. It lost electrons. Whereas iron, it started out with a plus three charge and then actually went down to a plus two charge. And the only way that could have happened is if it had gained an electron and you know electrons are negatively charged, so you gain one, your charge goes down by one. So the iron was reduced. Reduction is gaining electrons. So in this case, we can actually write half reactions to better understand what's really happening here. So for the copper, it, what really happened was it lost an electron, right? Its charge went up by one. So you can think about it, it started out as copper plus, and then it went to copper two plus after giving off that electron, right? Its charge went up and it gave off an electron. It lost an electron, it, it was oxidized. And conversely, iron in the reduction half reaction, it started out iron three plus and then gained an electron and its charge went down by one. So this is the reduction half reaction. So this helps us sort of think about what's actually happening. These reactions are not uh, actually accurate to write as a standalone, but they help us understand the process. So what we can say here is that copper was oxidized and it is actually the reducing agent because it allowed for iron to be reduced. It reduced the iron. And conversely, iron was reduced and it is the oxidizing agent because it allowed for the oxidation of copper. It oxidized copper. So they go along in pairs like this. So figuring out what was oxidized and reduced in this reaction was very easy because we were able to determine the oxidation numbers of each species directly. But it's not always that straightforward. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to figure out an oxidation number of a given species in a reaction. And for that reason, you really have to know your oxidation number rules. So please look at my video on assigning oxidation numbers. It's only about five minutes long. And I really would highly recommend that you memorize those rules. Okay, so here's an example where the oxidation numbers are not so obvious. So I went ahead and wrote out a chemical reaction here as practice, and I assigned all of my oxidation numbers to each atom using the rules that I go through in the oxidation number video that I told you about. Please go watch that if you haven't already. It'll really help you out, and it's really vital for doing these problems. So once you have all of your oxidation numbers assigned to your atoms, what you do is you compare them from the reactant side to the product side, and you see what changed. So sodium, for example, it started out neutral with an oxidation number of zero, and then it went up to plus one over here. So that means it lost an electron because its charge went up. Thus, it must have been oxidized. So we can write sodium's half oxidation reaction like this. So you can see here that what happened was sodium started out with a neutral charge and then ended up with a plus one charge because it lost one electron. Thus, this is sodium's oxidation half reaction. Hydrogen, on the other hand, started out with a plus one charge and then must have gained an electron to end up with a neutral charge. Thus, this is hydrogen's half reduction reaction. 
So we can say that sodium was oxidized and thus must have been the reducing agent because it reduced hydrogen. It provided this oxygen that was able to reduce the hydrogen. Conversely, hydrogen was reduced and it is the oxidizing agent because it accepted this electron from sodium and allowed it to be oxidized. So I really hope this made sense. If you guys have any questions or you're interested in tutoring, please contact me at facebook.com slash tutoring and I'll see you guys in the next video.